Hello guys and gals, it is me, that bender guy, and today I am continuing my redstone slash adventure map tutorials. Yeah, what we got here is a lighted hallway. Well, as you can see, you be like, bender, that is clearly not lit at all. Well, on the contraire, it's because I have a nice little flush lighting system implemented. So if we just go ahead and click this wee little button. Boom. Uh, sequential lights that light up as I click the button. And as you notice, they're all flush. So if I go ahead and click the button again. Boom. All right, so let's go over to the redstone and we'll see how this puppy's made. So I'm sitting here. Here's the general uh, redstone uh, circuitry required to make this system. Uh, right now it's hooked up to just a single button, but as you can see, we have our piston over here with a generic block that will be our flush with the ceiling. And then we have our uh, glowstone. What happens when this button will be pressed is this will turn off and this will actually first let me go over an interesting find I made. Uh, it's basically a, a slightly more compact uh, T flip flop. So you have your basic T flip flop with the redstone torches and the redstone on the top and the two pistons but using the new redstone block that was introduced in one of the newest snapshots. So when we click, it moves, and it powers our redstone line. Now I use a slightly more modified version. Um, I have a repeater here, and I have a redstone, normal redstone path here, uh, basically just to compensate, or well, to get around the fact that when either side is activated, this there's no confliction with redstone paths. So as you can see, I have that right over here. So that's what this basic part right here is. It's a T flip flop, and it runs over into this redstone torch. Now keep in mind, now let's do tick counting. So throw, let's throw one tick on there, two ticks on there. So it's two ticks when that button is flipped. After two ticks, uh, this piston, will rise. Now if you notice down here with our redstone uh, T flip-flop we have this path and this path. But if you notice on this one this block is set to three ticks while this one is set only to two. But they will be triggered at the same time uh, due to whoa I don't know what happened just right there. <laughs> um, but this is set to one tick and two ticks, so it'll still be three ticks before this. So all this is, is this is extending the T flip-flop. So the, this uh, secondary T flip-flop will happen right after this is brought up, which will switch the blocks and allow, and once the signal is regained, uh, it will push it down. So to show the advanced or the uh, extended T flip flop. We will just have it like this. This will be our activated one at the moment, and we'll have it just push some blue wool. Now, since this has one, uh, God, I don't know what's going on with my computer today. <laughs> uh, since this is at one tick until that receives a signal, we want to keep that consistent. And it keeps going there, so just bear in mind with me. And we're going to go ahead and place another piston right there. And let... Oh, nope. Don't want that. There. Ah, that's my phone going off. Don't know if you guys can hear it. That may be what's screwing up my mouse at random. So I moved it. Now let's try this again. So now we have our T flip-flop with two signals uh, so this is if this works correctly what will happen is that as these move 
the T flip flop is inverted. So if we go ahead and just click, yep, there we go. Now we have an inverted T flip flop. Now all we would have to do is replace that with a redstone or, and then do it again. Boom. That's what we essentially have up over here is an inverted T flip flop, but this has to be up before the pistons can push the other block in the way. So what I did over here is you see it's a, a, a the only thing modified within this is that instead of there just being the torch like over there on top of it, it is actually attached to this block to which a repeater. And then I have set up a four eight a one second delay well 1.4 second delay until this one's triggered and then I just repeat it over and over and I will include the schematic uh, for this general thing it will look exactly like this because well this is the one I created the schematic off of and all you have to do is just run a redstone signal into this and so that's up to you and that's how this over here was done Go ahead, click our button does a swapping there. If you want to take a look at it while it's happening, see there goes that one, then there goes that one, and you would just continue this pattern. And keep in mind also, I need to go over this before I let you guys go, is that keep in mind this one right here, this repeater must be set to three or the third or fourth tick. So this is one tick, two, three, four. Um, the reason why is that this needs a, uh, a decent strength signal in order to run this entire thing. It will run on one, but it won't be guaranteed that it'll work. In fact, when I had these both at one, both that one and that one, it eventually got to the point where they were inverted. This one would be lit up while this one would just hide. So, uh, that's about it, I believe. Yep. That's it. All right. So thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If so, go tell your friends. All right. Later, guys.